New video right now of the tornado hitting Marshalltown yesterday afternoon. This was taken on South Center Street looking towards the east. If you look, you can see debris swirling into the air, pieces of homes and lives ripped apart by the powerful storm. And this is new video of the tornado in Bondurant looking toward the storm from the high school. The power of Mother Nature is evident and there is a lot of cleaning up to do today. Well, good afternoon, everyone. That was just two of the 27 tornadoes confirmed in Iowa yesterday. That new information from the National Weather Service. We again have Team 8 coverage of the tornadoes and their impact on Bondurant, Pella, and Marshalltown. KCCI's Hannah Hilliard is live in Bondurant, where the governor toured the damage this morning. Hannah. Well, Rhea, she wrapped up that tour here in Bondurant about an hour ago. She came right here, 2nd Street Northwest, where she saw this, a row of destruction where this tornado ripped through the town yesterday around 3 o'clock. The city says dozens of homes are impacted at this point and not even 24 hours into this recovery mission. We are starting to see quite the volunteering effort come together. The mayor says there are more than 100 volunteers that showed up just this morning. The governor, when she was here, she was talking with the Bondurant football team who canceled practice this morning to hit the streets. They all had their gloves on. We're told there's about 30 to 40 of them gloves on, scouring the town, picking up as much rubble and debris as they could. Now, we also ran into a couple of Bondurant Girl Scouts out delivering cookies to those hard at work out here today. We just wanted to give free cookies to help people who's, who can't live in their houses anymore. Makes them like know like they're loved and like everybody's here for them. That is just a small example of the kind of volunteering efforts we're seeing out here today, less than 24 hours after this tornado hit. The mayor says anybody wanting to volunteer in Bondurant should call City Hall, and that way they can coordinate their efforts and dispatch you uh, to wherever is appropriate here in town, whichever part of town needs the most help. And Polk County Sheriff's Office also says that they will continue to have increased uh, a presence out here to make sure belongings and homes like this are kept safe as well as the people out here are kept safe. We'll, of course, bring you more coverage from Bondurant. But for now, reporting live, Hannah Hilliard, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Thank you so much, Hannah. We want to go now to Pella. Vermeer Manufacturing sustained extensive damage in the storm, and the governor is also going to be touring there this afternoon. KCCI's Tommy Clark is there live, and Tommy, the Vermeer plant is closed today. What are you seeing there right now? Well, Rhea, there's just debris everywhere you look here. We're going to show you what we're seeing now that the sun's up. You can see this cornfield behind me that's just absolutely smashed. This is across the street from Vermeer. And then you can see parts of the building that were picked up by the tornado and thrown into this field, as well as trees torn out of the ground and power lines down. Now, if you go across the street to where Vermeer is, that's where you see the real damage. You can see there's flagpoles snapped in half as well as signs tipped over in a parking lot just full of vehicles that are toppled on top of one another. Take a look at this video from yesterday just after the tornado hit. You can see just how bad this was seeing all the vehicles on top of each other and pieces of the roof missing. 2700 people work here and there were additional 400 people here for a conference. So a lot of people impacted by this. We now know that 13 people were injured as well. Seven of those taken to a medical center. They were released with minor injuries. Now we spoke with Lieutenant um, Cox earlier this morning who says in his 18 years of service with Pella Police, he's never seen anything quite like this. By looking at the damage, you would think that it would have been way worse than what it actually was as far as the injuries. Um, so we're very lucky that way. Now, right now, Vermeer is working on gathering those dozens of vehicles and putting them in one place so that the people who own them or have possessions here can come gather them. But they do want people to know to not come out here yet. Uh, this whole area is closed off um, until they notify you to come out and get your things. Also, like you said, Rhea, the governor is on her way here. She will be touring the facility as well as having a closed meeting. After her tour, she'll have a press conference and we'll bring you those details. For now, reporting live in Pella, Tommy Clark, KCCI News, Iowa's News Leader.
Thanks so much, Tommy. We also have some Sky 8 video of the Vermeer plant. This gives you another view of the damage there. Incredible. The building with the most significant damage is at the east end of the manufacturing mile. If you could see here, no damage estimates just yet, but this drone video does a really good job of showing you the extent of the damage there. The storms knocked out power to thousands of Iowans. We want to give you that updated number. Alliant Energy says they are now at 5,079 customers without power in the Marshalltown area. That's down from about 1,000 this morning. Crews will be working throughout the day to get those homes back online. KCCI Cynthia Fodor got an update on that. Plus the general recovery plan for Marshalltown officials this morning. You're live for us, Cynthia. Uh, you've been there all morning. You had such compassion in your voice. They said there should be 14 teams out there assessing damage. Have you seen them out there and what are you seeing so far? Well, we understand those teams are starting to arrive right now and people we watched people come out as the sun came up and start assessing the damage at their homes. Look at these houses behind me. I have to say when I drove into town this morning, it just took my breath away here. You have never seen such widespread damage from a tornado. I never have in my life. We are two blocks from the town square, and this is what it looks like. I'm told eight blocks to the west of the town square and 12 blocks to the east. This is the first time I've ever seen a tornado actually touch down and tear apart the heart of a city. You are looking at our Sky A drone video right now. And you can see the historic courthouse there on the town square. It was actually it took a direct hit from the tornado and it is closed today. No business being done there. The city hall took a hit, even the police station. Uh, many of the squad cars were damaged when the tornado hit and uh, trees all over the town square were actually totally pulled up by their roots out of the ground. When the sun came up, as I said, crews started the cleanup. Bulldozers have gone to work picking up the pieces. On Main Street, uh, shattered storefronts and walls of brick just collapsed onto sidewalks, making it dangerous to walk around. And power is still out here for about 7,000 people. Our crews have got quite the task up for them coming up here. We estimate around 500 power poles is what we're going to need to replace. Uh, we've been getting truckloads of new power poles straight from the manufacturer uh, in the overnight hours. In fact, the governor issued a proclamation last night to help make that happen faster uh, because the, the crews needed to drive extra hours. So. And if you want to know what a big job this is, we are watching right now. They are bringing in 500 new power poles right back here. You can see there are Align Energy trucks bringing in those poles and most of the power poles, a lot of them, 500 are either leaning or knocked over. And look at these cars here as well. This one, um, well, you, you said this is your car. Tell us what happened. Well, we were in there, McCrystal Christensen working and uh, just getting ready to get off work and we saw the tornado coming down, our boss did, and coming down State Street and he said get to the basement. We were down there, I would say two minutes. What could you hear? What did that feel like? Well, the ceiling in the basement started coming off because of the pressure and there was actually a gentleman and a little boy that couldn't get in the back door because it was locked and there's stairway just around the corner and they crawled under that stairway and went through that tornado under that stairway and so then we came back up and came out and two by fours through our glass all three of our our cars were no windows left so two by fours were actually sticking out of the windows yes. in fact i think if you go behind there there might be a muffler through the red car behind that tree from the Big eight tire. What goes through your mind when you look around you today? Hey, we were all safe and that was that was wonderful, but boy, it was very scary and now we're just trying to clean up the as much as possible. So And there's so much damage, where do you begin? I know. We just started in one corner and and just kept working, so but there's glass embedded in stuff from the windows, so um, but 
it was horrible. I mean, it was just horrible. But so. as you said, you're safe. So. Yes, and that was the main thing, that everybody was safe and made it down to the basement. Okay, so. thank you very yeah, much. We're you. glad you're safe. And that is pretty much the way people all over this town are feeling today. As bad as this is, it's just amazing that no one was uh, severely injured here. Uh, just a few people suffered minor injuries. Rhea?